Hi girls, so this is the uh, the ring tutorial as I promised uh, today. So I'm just going to dive straight into it. So the first thing that we're going to do is create the circle in for the ring in the front view. Now I'm working in uh, Rhino on my MacBook, but it's pretty much the same as um, what you're using. So I'm going to basically start off. Oops, I need to turn on grid snap. I haven't done that already. There we go. I'm going to put a value in here of uh, 20, 20 millimeters, and that's my diameter value. So you can imagine that you've probably got a, uh, a ring size in mind, so you'll need to bear that in, in mind when you're developing a design. So if you don't really know what your ring size is, um, I have a set of ring gauges where you can measure your uh, ring finger and all of that sort of stuff, so you can go from there. But for today, you basically just want to go through this process and get the idea as to how to model it. So I've done that one. The next thing that I'm going to do is offset that curve. So I'm going to type offset into the command bar and I'm going to offset that in a circle by about, well, we'll go with um, two millimeters. Okay, so, and I'm going to click on the side that I want to offset. So that's the two curves my circles there, so I've, I've selected both of those. Then the next thing I need to do is to make those into a surface. So you know what to do here. We're gonna go up to surface, and then we're gonna make a surface using the planar curves option. And you will see that that will put in the, uh, the usual crosses on the surface there, and if I just shade this viewport, you will see. There you go, that's what it looks like. All right, so we've got that. The next thing that I'm going to do is turn that into a solid by extruding that surface. So to, to do this, again, we need to select the surface, go up to solid, extrude surface, and then straight. And then I'm gonna pull this out. Now I can pull this out as far as I want to pull it out, or I can put a dimension in there. So I'm thinking that this ring might be about seven millimeters in width. So I'm just gonna type in seven there, and there I have it. Now what you can see there that's currently selected is the original surface that I used to create that poly surface. So I don't really need that surface anymore, so I can delete that. You'll also remember that there's a curve in there, the original curve and the offset curve. So I've actually selected those and deleted that. All right, so from here on in, um, we've played around before using the Boolean difference to cut out the shapes. So if you can imagine those shapes cut it, I think, what did we do last time? We did the star. In fact, we'll do the star again because that was the demo that I, I gave in class. So what I'm going to do is create a star. And to do that, I'm going to go up to the polygon tool, which is that one there. Again, I'm working on my Mac version. Yours will be slightly different, but I think you pretty much all know where those tools reside. So I've gone to Polygon, and I'm going to do this in the top viewport. And you can see here I'm, I'm trying to snap there, and it's not quite snapping to the center. So what I might do here is just turn Grid Snap off for a moment. And I'm going to... Oh, now you can see actually that's a three-sided star. In fact, I'll cancel that for a moment, and we'll do that again. I'm going to do a five-sided star. And I'm just going to pull that out. Maybe something like that. Oop, why didn't that do it? I'll try that again. Here we go. Third time's a charm. There we go. And, you know, I'm just kind of looking at what the sort of star will look like. I'm happy with that shape. Now, if you look at that shape there, that, that uh, piece of geometry that we've created, we've actually created that pretty much at the origin. So you can see where it is over here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, use the shift key and I'm just gonna pull that up. In fact, I should turn grid snap back on. So I've done that. And now I'm gonna make that into a surface by going surface planar curves. And I can now see that it's turned into a surface because it's got that cross through it. 
The yellow uh, shape that's selected there is of course the original curve which I just used to make that surface. So I'm going to delete that original curve. So I've deleted that and I'm going to bring this up a little bit more so it's actually kind of inside the ring there. Now once I've done that, I'm then going to go solid, extrude surface, straight, and I'm just going to bring that up something like that. Again, original surface is highlighted, so I'm going to delete it. So I think everybody knows how to do that. Now you know that the next part that we're going to do is the array polar. So whilst that star is selected in the command line, we're just going to type array and then come down to polar, which is there. We're then going to detect the center of the ring. So in your snaps, if you've got center turned on, it should detect the center. There you go. You can see the center of mine there. And then it's going to ask you for the number of items in the array. So in my array here, I think I'm going to shoot with about nine stars. So I'll hit nine, enter. The angle to fill is going to be through 360 degrees. So that's correct. Enter. And then press. don't forget to press enter to accept. All right, so this is what everybody should have at this stage in the game. But as I've said before, that's going to be a very uncomfortable ring. So let's go back and do the next stage here. I'm just going to switch layers for a moment here. All right, in my front view, this is what I want to do. I want to create another circle from the original center of the, of the ring but this time I'm actually going to turn grid snap off there's grid snap off and I'm just going to bring this so it's just slightly proud of the original ring body if you like so there's that I've done that there now what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset that by about five Okay, now you'll see where it offsets. Basically, the distance between the two yellow circles is what I'm going to remove. So I'm going to subtract all of that away using the Boolean difference. So what we'll do now is we will make those two blue circles into a surface. So I've selected them both together. I'm going to go surface, planar curves, Okay, we've got that. I'm now going to delete those curves. The, that's the original curves that I'm deleting because they are currently highlighted. All right, so I've deleted that. Now, the next thing that I need to do is to extrude this surface straight through those stars. All right, so solid. Extrude surface straight, and I'm going to pull that right through the object. Currently, you can see that my original surface is selected so again we'll delete that all right so in reality if I just switch back to wireframe mode you can kind of see what we've got now what I would like to do is to union or boolean union all of those stars and the ring together so I'm actually going to select the ring body hold shift down and then select each of those stars one by one as you can see there, it'll take a minute. There we go. And then I'm going to use the Boolean Union tool, which is that one there. Those two balls that are joining together. We'll click on that. Okay, and then that will now kind of weld all of those objects together. Now we're ready for our Boolean difference. So the Boolean difference is basically going to work like this. So you're going to go to the Boolean Union. You want to come out to the second option, which is the Boolean difference. Now it says select the surfaces or poly surfaces to subtract from. So in this case, we're subtracting from the ring itself. So I've selected the ring. We press enter for the next stage or to continue. And then we're, you can see here it says select surfaces or poly surfaces to subtract with. And that's where I'm going to select this blue object here and press enter when done. And now you can see if I shade this, you can see that those stars are actually being cut and they're actually curved. So they're now kind of 
consistent with the shape of the ring itself. So that's all looking nice. Now, one thing that I need to do here is to fillet these edges to soften them so that it's not harsh on the fingers. So I'm going to type in fillet edge in the, into the command line. There it is, fillet edge. And you might remember that you need to be mindful of your sizes for those fillet edges. So I'm going to type in, I know that the, this, the thickness of the ring is actually two millimeters. So I'm actually going to have a half millimeter radius on all four edges there. So I'm going to put, punch in 0 0.5 and then I'm going to select the internal and the external. And I'll do the one on that side and rotate it around. In fact, I can grab it there. And then I'll hit enter. And then just enter again. And you'll see that that is now nice and filleted and looks all as it, as it should do. So that's your, your, your tutorial. Now, once you've done that, if you've had a go at doing that and you've kind of mastered those skills in terms of what we've demoed in this tutorial, you can then go on and try your own shapes, do the polar array, do your Boolean difference, all of that sort of stuff, and you should be able to come up with quite an interesting looking ring. It's similar to the one that I showed you in class with the Space Invaders ring, but it is a good introduction to um, making one of these rings and, and preparing it for shape ways. So that's what you need to work on this lesson. Have a play and um, I look forward to seeing those designs.